What's going on guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren and today we are going to give you a full tour of this beautiful brand new home behind me located in Beverly Grove. I also want to thank the listing agent Aristide of Royal Estate Properties for letting us tour his incredible listing. This modern estate behind me features five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 5,187 square feet of living space, and is currently on the market for just under $4 million. To enter this property, you can go through the three foot motor gate or through this walking gate right in front of me. And then you walk down this path of this concrete stone slab and turf pattern to all of your beautiful landscaping in the front yard. As we turn, we look up at the exterior of the home featuring those white stucco modern finishes and some wood exterior as well. The two car garage to my right has those black sleek modern finishes. And then you walk this path up these two steps to the front entrance. Let's head inside. Through that windowed pivot door, we arrive in this magnificent home. You can see all the way through the home into the backyard with that SoCal indoor-outdoor flow. We also have these white oak wood flooring all throughout this bottom level. But before we show you more of the main floor, we're gonna take a turn to my right and show you the first bedroom. This first bedroom we're taking a look at in the home is currently staged as an office. We are front facing and you see we've got windows cornered showing you the entire front yard. This room is also en suite. Follow me into the bathroom. This bathroom features a floating vanity with quartz countertops, sleek modern cabinets, and tiled walls all throughout into the shower with a chrome rain shower head and a white quartz floating shower bench. Coming out of the first bedroom, let's take a turn and head into the powder room to my left. This powder room features a long floating vanity from wall to wall. And when I walk in here, I first notice these incredible marble tiles on the backsplash up here. And then this unique modern sink as well. Just take a look how the water flows out of it. and two unique light fixtures on either side of me enclosed in those modern bulbs. Out of the powder room, here we go. We're gonna show you the kitchen, dining room, and main living space. So first we're gonna take a look in the kitchen, then loop around through the backyard living room, and then head upstairs to the second level. This kitchen features a large oversized center island with a waterfall edge. You got quartz countertops and a five burner gas stove on the center island. To my left is the Thermidor paneled fridge and freezer. We've got a double Thermidor oven. Lots of wood cabinet space around this kitchen and in the pantry. Behind me is one of the most unique shelf space in a kitchen I've ever seen. Take a look at these windowed vertical opening floating shelves that line the entire kitchen. And one thing I really like is that it is centered with this window behind it, making it look as if it's just floating right against it. A built-in Thermidor microwave on the center island the sink is over on this side when usually it would be on the center island in most of the homes that we've seen. We've got white quartz countertops throughout and up on the backsplash going up to the ceiling. Wrapping up in the kitchen, we're just gonna walk right away through these pocket doors into the backyard. We've got that indoor outdoor flow. As I said earlier, you can even see to my right that extends out into this living space.
Over here is a dining area in the backyard, and then we've got a zero edge pool and spa. Staying along the pool, you see it is wood planked on the flooring of this backyard. But then over in the corner, you've got some real grass space. It's a very private backyard and we've got these plants that will grow a bit higher to make it even more private. Taking a stroll back inside, you see these sliding glass doors corner, seamlessly blending that outdoor indoor flow through to this extended living space. In this formal living room, we have surround sound speakers up on the ceiling, a flat screen TV to my left, right above the gas fireplace, with Venetian plaster surrounding it from the floor up to the ceiling. Just off the living room is the formal dining room to my left. You can see this stage with this wood table that can seat about 10 people. We've got an incredible light fixture hanging right above the dining table, surely to impress any dinner guests you have. Just off the formal dining space is the floating staircase leading up to the top levels. Behind me is a wine rack that could fit up to 100 bottles. I really like the lights surrounding the wine rack and the fact that it is up against the wall, open up to everyone, you can see it from any angle of the house. And just next to it is a door which leads you inside the two car garage. A home really can't have a more open layout than this one has, just take a look behind me. But that was it for this downstairs level. To my right are the stairs. Right underneath are a couple seating spaces, perfect for reading a book, maybe just hanging out while you're not in the living room. But let's go up to the next level. We have made it to the second level and you can see that the stairs go up even higher to a third, which is the rooftop deck. We'll show you that at the end, so stay tuned and stick around. There are four bedrooms on this level. The first two we're gonna take a look at are right behind me. This is a very spacious room, front facing with sliding glass doors opening up to your own private balcony. The balcony overlooks your front yard, driveway, and the street. This room is also en suite. Let's take a look in the bathroom. This bathroom is very similar to the one in the room downstairs. It consists of a floating vanity with quartz countertops, tiled walls that lead into the shower, and you've got a little windowed shower vent in there as well. The next room is directly across the hall. And here we are. It is very similar to the one next door, pretty much the same size with sliding doors leading out to a balcony, which overlooks the front yard and street. There's another window over on that side, just a little narrow window that brings in a little extra natural sunlight. We've also got a walk-in closet and a full bath. Let's go in there. In this bathroom, we have the same vanity in the other two that we have seen. The walls are a little different in here. You have textured tile walls that lead into the shower with a built-in bathtub in this one, making it different from the one just next door and another chrome rain shower head. Out of this room, back on the second level, heading down this hall, those two rooms are perfect for maybe twins or two children that want similar rooms, or maybe even a couple of roommates. Right before you enter the laundry room, we have some storage cabinets. And here we go. Your luxury laundry room features quartz countertops and more of those modern sleek floating cabinets above. 
Directly across the hall from the laundry room is the next bedroom. Wow, right when I walked in, I can see through the window all the way to Century City. And today we have a nice sunset coming along and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at that if you can. This room has plenty of closet space right in front of me and it is en suite as well. Let's take a look at that bathroom. This bathroom is very similar to the other two off the bedroom on this level. We've got a floating vanity with quartz countertops, textured tiles on the wall that lead into the shower, and a windowed vent in the shower, which is incredible right now at this sunset. It's bringing in natural light, making it almost spa-like in here. Enough of this room, let's head out and show you the master. And behind me is your luxury Los Angeles master bedroom. Just take a look at this spacious master bedroom. It's honestly one of the nicest master bedrooms that we have seen on this channel. To my left, you just have windows bringing in tons of natural light. That corner is bringing even more from two angles. And behind me, we just have these pocket doors open out to your balcony that overlooks the backyard. Behind the bed, we have wood planked walls giving it a homey vibe in this bedroom. On the opposite side to my right, we have that flat screen TV right above the fireplace with those same Venetian plaster finishes around it. And you might get a little sneak peek into the luxury master bathroom. But before we show you that, we're gonna take a turn into the walk-in closet. This closet is complete with floating shelves all throughout the walls with light underneath some of them to display any of your clothing items that you may need. And directly out of your closet, it leads to this open pocket in the wall. We are here in your master bathroom. This bathroom consists of slabs of marble on the floors and walls throughout the shower walls as well, with a large chrome rain shower head hanging from the ceiling. That is one of the biggest showers I've ever seen, especially in this area of Beverly Grove. You see that floating quartz shower bench in there? A floating vanity extending the length of the walls behind me with a his and hers and a makeup area in the center. With this narrow wall lining the entire side as well. Close the door and have some privacy to enter the toilet room to my left. And right behind me is your designer deep soaking bathtub. It is just freestanding over in the corner of this bathroom. And what do you guys think about this tub? It's very unique, something you don't see every day. I personally enjoy it. I would spend hours in there. Hanging out in this master bathroom honestly makes it feel like we're at a five-star hotel resort. What do you think, Raul? Completely agree. I would say this master bedroom is like a suite at a five-star hotel. Absolutely, when I walked in, I was completely amazed. <laughs> yeah, I think we were all completely amazed, especially the viewers. Uh, I wanted to ask you a question though, Raul. What was your favorite part of this house? Where could you see yourself spending the most time? The most time would definitely be in the master bedroom. This master bedroom has my name all over it. Definitely my style. Right when I walked in, I was completely, like I said, wow. And I would definitely spend all my time in the master yeah. bedroom. Well, Raul was wowed by the master bedroom. And honestly, for myself personally, I was wowed by the rooftop deck when I saw it earlier. But you guys haven't seen the rooftop deck yet. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll take a stroll up there and show them what it's about. You guys ready? Let's do it.
I honestly don't think I've ever been more excited seeing a rooftop deck in my life. Just take a look at the sunset right now. We are here at the absolute perfect time. You can see the Hollywood Hills behind me, Beverly Hills, the Hollywood sign to my left, and really just every city of Los Angeles. Century City, the Wilshire Corridor. I mean, there's, I'm honestly speechless. I'm just in awe up here. And it's one of the largest rooftop decks too. You have tons of seating space over in that corner behind me more lounging areas. Just look at it, take it all in. Let's get some drone shots going. Let's take another walk back to the other side of the deck. It extends from the backyard all the way to the front yard. You can look down into the pool or onto your front street. Over in this corner on your rooftop deck, you can put a flat screen TV up above this fireplace. So even when it's cold out here, you can stay warm while watching a movie. Just really everything you need in a rooftop deck, there's not much more to say. And that was everything. We just gave you a full tour of this beautiful modern mansion located in Beverly Grove in Los Angeles. If you guys liked the video, as always, smash that like button. We really appreciate it, and it really helps out our channel a lot. Again, I want to thank the listing agent, Aristide, for letting us tour his incredible listing. If you want to see more of these home tours, please smash that like button. We're posting two videos a week currently, and stay tuned for the next one. Take a look at that sunset.